Hello everybody, this is an astrological forecast for Taurus for September of 2013 and this also in, uh, applies to you if you have a Taurus ascendant. I hope you've noticed new camera and better microphone, much better microphone, hopefully. Thank you for all the feedback that you gave me, uh, it was very valuable. Uh, it's been a steep learning curve but very necessary. So Taurus, big focus this month on your creative energy, on learning to have fun, on learning to enjoy yourself more. All too often Taurus you're very responsible, you're focused on what should be done, needs to be done, let's be practical and I'm not saying not to be practical but I'm saying um, allow yourself to do the things that you love and if ever there was a month to start your own business this would be a month to be doing it, to be starting it, to be growing it, to be doing something on the side, to be creating something that you enjoy that could become a passive income for you as well. So we've all got a lot of tension going on in the world. I know we can see it, we can feel it, we know that there are some huge, huge changes going on. And for you particularly this uh, grand cross that I've been talking about which is a, a tense aspect between Pluto and Uranus, Uranus and Saturn, uh, sorry Uranus and Jupiter and Venus has joined in the play. So this is what's the grand cross that's going on and for you Taurus see these tension it's it's all red lines indicate tension a need for change Taurus you don't like change unless you initiate it so make sure you're the initiator you're needing to learn some new skills many of you you need to extend what it is you do force yourself to learn something new really push that energy this month is going to be quite a lot to focus on um, your work area. It's important with this Venus um, square to Pluto that you don't get too obsessive about something, that you don't get into obsessive thinking about what you should do, what you've not done, or maybe something said, somebody said something to you. Uh, make sure you don't get into an obsessiveness about being a workaholic, not being able to stop or maybe not being able to get going. Either way, um, there's going to be a lot of changes this month, an opportunity for changes this month in your work area. But there could be some good changes. This Venus can also bring you somebody nice in the work area um, that wants to help you, um, that's going to give you like a, a leg up. Um, it's also quite good as well potentially for anything connected with your health and healing or even studying healing. This would be a great aspect to have here with the Venus for the first uh, 10 days of the month in your sixth house. So let's look now at the new moon. On September the 5th we have a new moon in Virgo in your fifth house. A lot going on in this fifth house and this new moon for you in Virgo is all about new creative ideas, doing something new that you've not done before. Maybe um, you've always wanted to go traveling somewhere. Maybe it's time to really start planning it or even spontaneously do something. Taurus, you're not the best for spontaneous. Um, great with the new moon there, it's spontaneously wanting you to do something, to be a child. You might be doing something with children. Good time for teaching, for sharing, for storytelling. It's also a wonderful time for anything new with the business, as I said, especially if it's yours, something that you're enjoying and to bring out that child within. And of course, it's very nice for romance. Uh, romance could certainly come into your life, particularly for the first three weeks of this month. Um, on the 9th of September, this Mercury moves from the fifth house of um, creativity and moves into your sixth house of health and work. So this might be a good time in fact to sign a contract at work, to, to, to make some agreements. It's also a good time to talk something through and a very good time to see um, a health 
counsellor or a doctor or somebody who can help you with anything, any aspect of your physical well-being, very good time to seek advice, to look for advice and to get something sorted. So we've got Venus, planet of love and money, going out of your sixth house into your seventh house on the 11th of September joining Saturn there. So yes, I know Taurus, many of you have been going through some quite serious lessons connected with relationships. Um, Venus should lighten a little bit of that this month for you from the 11th of the month. Um, it could well bring somebody nice into your life, somebody who is supportive, loving, can bring a romance for those of you who are looking for it, but it also can soften the edges because I think there's been some harshness, some difficulties for many of you in your relationships. And I think that this gives you a little bit of a feeling like, ah yes, we can compromise. We can start to work things out where I don't feel like I'm doing all of the giving. So this is a little light there. Um, <clears throat> We've also got on um, September the 19th, we have the full moon, opposite the new moon, two weeks later, in your 11th house. So anything that you've done creatively here, that you've got going maybe with a business or some ideas or making something or doing something, great time um, two weeks later on the 19th with the full moon is to share them, to share what you've been doing, to go big, to go viral. Um, wonderful time for friends, for sharing friends, even also with Neptune there, um, meeting a soulmate, uh, meeting somebody who you feel, ah, you just have such a, an amazing connection with them. This, especially around this full moon. And of course, um, with it being in Pisces, it's a time to be very compassionate, to awaken our compassion for other people, uh, animals, people, beings, our earth, whatever it is. But there's an awakening of that during this full moon in Pisces. And I'll be doing a separate video on that anyway. Um, we've also got on the 22nd of September, the sun, whoops, there he is, moves out of your fifth house and into the sixth house, joining Mercury. So shining a light on work there, good time to apply for work, to, um, to put out your resume, to try for something, or maybe to take your work in a slightly different direction. Good time for getting noticed and, and also an excellent time for a new health regime, for saying, right, I'm going to cut sugar or whatever it is you're going to de you've decided that will benefit your health, um, more exercise, whatever it is, the 22nd of the month onward, it's very well aspected for you. So there you have it Taurus, that's your astrology forecast for September. Thank you very much for listening, for subscribing, for commenting, for feedbacking. Um, I always appreciate it and I hope you've enjoyed listening and the sound quality. Bye for now.